today we're gonna be working on sled kites doesn't that sound fun that sounds so fun but first before we actually do it I'm gonna tell you uh, what you need for your supplies okay so for your supplies you're gonna need a kite template more like a sled kite template like this one you're gonna need some crayons or colored pencils or markers some scissors some tape some string actually two pieces of string and then two straws a ruler a paper clip and the next thing that you're gonna need for your supplies is actually asking for your parents permission okay so make sure to ask your parents to do this activity okay now for the vocabulary words we're gonna learn uh, the word parrowing parrowing is the model of a certain type of an airfoil or curved kite the next term is gonna be sled kite sled kite is a type of kite that bends or curves when it flies in the air and the last word that we're gonna be learning about is lift Lift is the upward force that pushes the kite into the air, okay? So now, let's learn how to make this thing, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do is actually decorate this and cut it out, okay? So have fun, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so now that you're done coloring and cutting out your template, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're actually gonna get some of the, whoa. Get your straws and then make sure that they actually fit your, yes, I accidentally colored the back side. But now it's double colored what you're gonna do with the straws where it says um tape straw here that's where you're gonna put your straw and make sure that it actually lines to where the paper and sorry that was weird so mine's a little longer so what i'm gonna do is just cut it off okay oops <laughs> pick it up later remember don't litter guys so what you're gonna do is tape it now and then you're gonna do that same thing to the other side, okay? Perfect. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna talk about the next step. The next step is you're gonna actually poke you see that little hole on your paper you're gonna actually poke it with either scissors or with the pencil I'm gonna improvise and I'm gonna use a colored pencil okay I'll come back to you guys good job my kites happy for you you did that hole okay so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your string and make sure it's the same size uh, about 17 to 18 inches long so just make sure that they're the same length okay so now you're gonna grab one of those strings and you're gonna actually put it through one of those holes, okay? Just like this. And then again, make sure they're even at the top. Obviously, it's not. Oops. Like that, and then you're gonna make a knot. So just tie it and make the knot go all the way to the bottom like this, okay? And you're gonna do that to both sides. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually put some tape if you want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. It's optional, but it's best if you do. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually grab all of the sides that you have and put it together and you're gonna actually tie it with that paper clip that you have okay so go like that and put it through okay so when you actually put it through you can put it to where like it's halfway on the paper clip so it doesn't uh, slip away what you can do is just grab a piece of tape and tie it so it doesn't go anywhere like these papers okay so just do that real quick make sure it's 
sure it's nice and secure on both sides. Perfect. So now the next part is you're gonna grab another piece of string, approximately about three feet or so, just eye it, and you're gonna actually tie it to one of the strings that are tied to the paper clip, okay? So now that you're done, we're gonna actually try and fly it, okay? So when you actually try and fly it, try to run slower at first and then run faster and then see how fast or how it, the kite flies at different speeds, okay? So first we're gonna run real slow and let's see how well it actually works, okay? Oh, that's cool. And then after that, just try to run a little faster. I mean, work with me guys. I don't have a lot of space to run here, but make the best out of it. <laughs> And then that's gonna be basically it for this one, okay? And before you actually start flying your kite, make sure that you're clear from any buildings or cars or anything of that nature because we want you guys to be safe, okay? And then another quick tip that I can give you is that kites work actually better when they're in slight breezes and not in super strong wind, okay? So now let's get to discussion questions. So the first one is, was your kite able to fly? Did it actually work? Did it not? The next one was, what worked best a moving slow pace or a fast pace? How was it better when you ran faster or slower? It can, be, it can vary by the person, you know? The next one is, do you think the curve from the kite actually made it easier for the kite to fly or did it make it harder? And now, the last, dis the last discussion question is, what do you think would be better for the kite and why? Okay, well guys, thank you for joining me and make sure to present this kite to your family and show them if it worked or not. Have fun guys.